cold sores are small sores that usually develop on the lips. They are common and can be easily spread from person to person. This is caused by HSV or herpes simplex virus. The virus remains dormant within the nerve cells until such time that the immune system is weakened and then develops again. Kids have less developed immune system and this implies that they are susceptible to cold sores or fever blisters. Everyone, regardless of the age, finds it embarrassing and difficult to have cold sores. You will suffer the condition for up to 10 days. Most people contract cold sores when they are still young, and they spread in mucus or saliva that comes from the mouth and nose. You should protect your kids from having cold sores in the first place. However, you know that being a parent, this task is very hard to do because it is very easy to spread the virus within your family. If you suspect that there has been a skin contact that has been made by another kid with cold sores to your kid, then you should wash the contacted skin immediately. Wash it with antibacterial soap and water thoroughly. With a natural lip balm, keep your kid's lips moisturized. HSV can only infect the body when there are skin openings like crack, scratch, or cut. Lip balm will keep the lips moisturized and also prevent it from splitting or cracking. You can find varieties of lip balm at your local pharmacy. There are also tutorials available on the internet on how you can make your own lip balm. Toothbrushes can contain herpes virus. When there is an outbreak, you should replace the toothbrush in the beginning. After the blister develops, you should replace the toothbrush again. Replace it again when the cold sore has completely healed. Herpes simplex virus requires arginine as it is an essential amino acid to power up its metabolism. Foods that are rich in arginine are peanuts, cashews, grain cereals, peas, cola, and chocolate should be avoided if your kid is prone to cold sores. You should discourage your kid from licking or touching a cold sore. It should be kept clean and dry as possible. You can apply ice to the infected area or a moistened tea bag pressed on it frequently. The tannic acid present in the tea contains antivir antiviral activities. You should also protect the cold sore of your child from the heat of the sun and wind until it is fully healed.